Did you know that when children are about 18 months old, toddlers understand many more words than they can say? Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave, and on today's Thrive in 5, I'll share some tips for parenting toddlers, including some great ways you can help your little one as they learn how to talk. So at about 18 months, the average toddler can say somewhere between 5 to 20 meaningful words by this point in their development, but they can understand about 50 to 100 words, and then from there, their vocabulary explodes and they can probably understand up to 900 words by their third birthday, with some little tykes understanding up to 2,000 words. Now, if you're a parent, you've probably noticed that newborn babies start out mostly expressing themselves through crying. It's hard to miss, right? And as they get older, they coo and babble and start picking up patterns and listening a ton. Next comes a pretty exciting period. They start to try out this language thing for themselves and learn to use words. And as with so many things, parents have a significant influence on this learning process. So how can you help your child as they learn to talk? Well, here are some tips. My first tip is to think about your child's perspective and needs. It's super fun as a parent to hear your kiddo say their first word, right? So can you imagine how exciting it is from their perspective? From birth, children want to tell us what life is like for them, and now they're picking up a way of expressing themselves that opens up a whole new world of possibilities and connection for them. At the same time, learning to talk can be really frustrating for kiddos. There's a lot that goes into communication, They need to learn words cognitively, which means understanding the meaning of a group of sounds, and then figure out how to have their mouth make those sounds. And there are all kinds of patterns and rules for language, so they need your help. All right, tip number two, talk to your kiddo throughout the day. Narrate what's happening and describe what you observe. For example, when you're getting them dressed, you can say, I'm putting a bright green shirt over your head. Oh, there you are, now I see you. You can tell them what they're eating at mealtime and describe the toys they're playing with. Oh, you're rolling a big car along the carpet. You're basically a sports commentator rehearsing their play-by-play. It's also really great for you to tell them about your day and how you're feeling. And as they get older, you can start asking them more questions and invite them to tell you about their feelings and experiences. Another thing you can do to help is responding to your kiddos' attempts at language. Pretend that you're having a conversation with them. Build off of words that they already know, adding a couple more of their own. For example, if they can hold up a crayon and say, red, you can say, yeah, that's a red crayon. Also, keep in mind that they understand a lot more than they can say. So be careful how you talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, tip number three. Pay attention to and try to read your child's body language. Are they relaxed or tense? Smiling or frowning? Energetic or moving slowly? Just like adults, kids feel tired, happy, hungry, frustrated, all kinds of emotions. Tell them what you see their body telling you and help them learn specific words to describe what they're feeling. For example, you could say, you seem a little bit nervous. Emotion vocabulary can be a huge help for them learning to regulate their emotions. Fourth tip, read to your child, aiming for about 20 minutes or more a day. Kiddos usually love story time. It's a great time to bond with you and to learn. When they're really little, books with simple, repetitive language, rhymes, and big pictures are great. It can help them pick up basic patterns to build on as they learn about language. Then, as they get older, try a few more challenging books. Let them choose the book for story time and make reading fun by letting them be part of it. You can ask them questions about the characters. How do you think he's feeling right now? And story, wow, man, what do you think is gonna happen? Number five, last one, sing and play. Songs and games might seem silly or extra, but they're actually an important way that kiddos learn. Songs with simple rhythms, simple language and repetition can help familiarize them with the rhythms of language. And it even sets the stage for them thinking in abstract ways. Games can teach patterns and communication skills, such as turn-taking and listening. 
that Simon Says can be a good choice for those kinds of things when they get old enough to understand it. Playing with other kids is especially important to help them learn social and language skills. Playdates might seem just for fun, but they teach kiddos skills that will help them in future interactions with others. So those are my tips for helping your kiddos learn to talk. First, think about your child's perspective and needs. Second, talk to them throughout their day. Third, notice and express what their body is telling you. Fourth, read to them. And fifth, make the most of singing and playing. Before I go, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about helping your kiddos talk. And that's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave, and this has been another Thrive in 5 video for parenting tips for toddlers. For the best relationship tips and happy hacks, visit drdavespeaks.com.